Hello, Internet. It is Monday, October 28th. I am your host, Chet Siegel, and this is your Guyism Speed Round. Lou Reed, the controversial songwriter and frontman of the Velvet Underground, passed away this weekend. At his funeral, critics said, I'm sorry, I just don't get it. Firefighters who responded to a two-alarm fire at the Yingling Brewery in Florida said that the damage to the facility could have been a lot worse. For instance, this could have happened at a place that makes good beer. According to a recent article, facial recognition technology is still only in the early stages of development despite its widespread use by police departments and Facebook. Apparently, one-to-one -one recognition, that is, from a photo ID to your face, is still only 95% accurate, which is better than somebody with Alzheimer's, but worse than a bartender at a college town. At least 20 wedding guests were killed by a roadside bomb in Afghanistan. The bomber said to the police, but the man said, speak now or forever hold your peace. A teenager in India committed suicide after her parents banned her from logging onto Facebook. Her suicide note said that she just couldn't live without the social networking site. It's a real shame. She would have loved the comments that people wrote on her wall after they heard the news. In Pittsburgh, a student was suspended for two days after dressing up like a homeless man for a school assignment where he was told to create a character and embody it for a day at the school. The principal said in response to the punishment, Well, that kid was begging for it. Having lots of fun with puns on the speed round. In honor of Hurricane Sandy's one-year anniversary, a New York City subway line that was closed down by the storm is free for passengers today. Really? No flowers or dinner or anything? Did this last year mean nothing to you? At a Halloween party this weekend, Julie and Hugh dressed as Crazy Eyes from the hit Netflix show Orange is the New Black and made blackface part of her costume. Her manager released the following statement to the press. Please be understanding of how Miss Hugh must feel at this time. This is, after all, the closest she's ever come to a legitimate acting role. Conrad Murray, the former doctor who was convicted of causing Michael Jackson's death, was released from prison. He's also petitioning to get his medical license reinstated in Texas because, well, I hear they're always hiring. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's Guyism Speed Round. I have been and will continue to be Chet Siegel. If you liked what you saw, click that like button on down below. Shoot this link to a couple of your nearest and dearest. If you got questions for me, by God, ask them on my Facebook page. Or tweet them at me, at Chet Siegel. Either way, dudes, they're going to get to me, I promise. Just make sure that you come back tomorrow for more headlines that you need to know. Racial is racial and recent. I feel weird calling a Netflix show a TV show because it's not technically for television.